across the UK, on DAB, online and on your smart speaker. This is Times Radio Early Breakfast. It's 5.16am, you're listening to me, Nick Ellaby, standing in for Rosie Wright this week on Early Breakfast. It's time for a little run through the papers with Andrew Eborn, barrister broadcaster, futurist and president of Octopus TV. Is there anything this man doesn't do? Morning, Andrew. Hi, good morning and what a joy and indeed a privilege it is to join you, the Robert Palmer of Sports Broadcasting. Oh, OK, I see you've been on my Twitter. L- listen, <laughs> Andrew, the pleasure is all mine. Um, just, uh, we've talked about it there with Terry, but very quickly to touch on this story on the Times front page and this deadline on Boris handing over those WhatsApps or not. Would you let everyone have a look at your whatsapps during the pandemic well i think it's it's very simple isn't it i mean what i work on the basis that everything you write everything you say will end up in the hands of the people you least want it to uh, and i say that history repeats itself because we don't learn the lessons from history and it was just a few months ago or a few weeks ago that matt hancock had the same thing with his whatsapp messages and it's very simple that whatsapp themselves they say whilst it's all encrypted and they're personal to the people you know that at some stage people are going to have a look at them and i think if you're a politician you've got to work on the basis that everything you say and wherever you say it will come out in public but it raises two interesting things one as you know i'm a lawyer and there's copyright in whatsapp messages and you as the writer of those whatsapp messages can control what happens to them the difficulty is the ownership of that copyright will vary if things are done in the course of your employment. And clearly what Boris writes, and whilst he's or was prime minister, would be done during the course of his employment. So I think they're on a sticky wicket. I always say that the uh, sunlight is the best disinfectant. So rather than fighting this out and talking about full and frank disclosure and arguing about uh, withholding information, they should turn around and say, yes, here they are. There's an awful lot of them. Um, but have a look and bear in mind that WhatsApp is a different means of communication so it's going to sound far more informal than a, a long labored over letter uh, which has been well constructed fantastic all right 